the dangers of swivel chairs. So this is something we actually figured out more recently. Um, and this is so common. We think of this as a public service announcement. Most people, the chairs you're going to have in your office where you spend a lot of time are chairs that rotate side to side. I want you to see what happens. We're going to mimic this with this rotating disc. Okay. We all have these discrepancies in our spine and our pelvis these kind of built in kind of compensation patterns based on, you know, me playing golf one sided for years or doing something like that, or in my case, a scoliosis, right? Everyone has these discrepancies. I want you to see what happens when I sit on a moving surface, AKA a swivel chair with my feet anchored on the floor. So the minute I sit, what you're going to look for is watch what happens to my knees and pelvis. So I'm going to sit, and it's going to rotate. The minute I do this, it will rotate because that is the pattern that I have in my muscle, my rotation pattern. So again, I can literally push this back. And if I relax, it's just going to migrate over. Okay. I'll do it again. I'm just going to go sit down. I'm squared off. I sit down. Boom. And what that causes also collapses through the spine and you end up in these weird positions and you don't know why your left low back hurts or you've got sciatica, okay, or some neck pain. So honestly, very, very simple solution. Take the dining room chair, get rid of that swivel chair, sell it to no one that I know, okay, and just sit on a regular, just padded chair, right? You do a little bit of padding and everything's gonna get better.